This game has no music. That's uh that's my uh that's my background uh song for the title screen. I can do better. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Um, this is uh, <laughs> this is gonna be my playthrough of of Brogue. Uh, I say playthrough. I don't expect I will ever beat this game because it is it is as traditional as traditional goes. Um, I was gonna do I was gonna do some other various traditional roguelikes, and I actually started a couple series, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not feeling this. Uh, and someone in the comments uh, from my actual like uh, my vote for like what people would like to see more of said hey uh, i would be cool if you ch if you played ro uh, brogue uh, brogue would be a good one because it's still it's traditional but it, it looks good it, it has a, a visual flair and i've actually played brogue it was actually um before i even knew what a traditional roguelike was i tried brogue and i was like yeah i have no idea what i'm doing and not much has changed not not a lot has changed. I'm gonna be playing sound mixer at times to make sure that the music isn't a little bit too much. This is the copyright free adventure music playlist. Um, so I mean, what is Brogue? Brogue is basically kind of a, a remix or a you could call it almost a spiritual sequel to Rogue. It really is like Rogue 2.0. Um, and that isn't to say, like, you know, if you, you've, you've probably watched, you know, well, you might not have watched my Let's Try Rogue, the original Rogue game. Uh, it's pretty simplistic, all things considered. It's, it's, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't say rough around the edges. It really is, like, for what it is, it's, it's very simple. It's barely an RPG. Um, so what does Brogue add on top of that? Well, it has all of the mainstay classics, like uh, randomized scrolls. It's got water. Um, what is this? You say see dense foliage. It does have ASCII art, but um, don't let that fool you. It actually has quite a visual, a visual flair going on, shallow water. So we could hang around in the water. Ooh. Um, I will be using numpad but i will occasionally be using the mouse because it's easier to look at things you see the dungeon uh, exit we can explore we can auto explore see a puddle of urine excuse me so what what are what are we looking at here the rat is a scavenger of the shallows perpetually in search of decaying animal matter the rat has a 50 percent chance to hit you typically hits for six percent of your current health and at worst could defeat you in 10 hits i love that transparency i wish that more uh traditional roguelikes had that kind of transparency you have a 100 percent chance to hit the rat typically hits hit for 50 percent of its current health and at best could defeat it in two hits um are, is it like Aggro, the jackal moves quickly. The jackal prowls this, the cavern for intruders to rend with its powerful jaws. It could hit, kill me in eight hits, but I can kill it in two hits. So I'm going to back up a bit, and uh, I'm probably just going to mash into it a little bit. Um, you hit the jackal, the jackal misses you. Jackal claws me. Oh, no. You defeated the jackal. Okay. I don't. Uh, I don't recall. I guess I did hit the jackal. You hit the rat. The rat scratches you. You defeated the rat. You hit the rat. You defeated the rat. There's going to be a lot of this. There's going to be a lot of you hit the rat. You defeated the rat. You hit the thing. You did the thing. Uh, I liked that. Oh, I missed it. There's like a sun it's kind of sunlight streams in through something through a crack. Uh, that was that was a nice little bit of flavor that I enjoyed. Um, can we re oh we can rest with Z. Um, I think, I think all things considered, this is one of the friendlier roguelikes, and I know that, uh, I'm trying to rest, but it's not working. Hmm. And then there's search. You finish searching the area, but find nothing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to rest, but it's not doing it. I can just, like, I can hold down the wait button, and that seems to work. I wonder if I can hold down the Z button as well. Um, this game is going to involve a lot of me bumbling around. I don't seem to be able to move. To oh, there we go. Um, diagonally. 
Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe you can't move diagonally around walls. I'm trying, I'm trying to navigate here. So I can, oh, there it is. Sunlight streams through cracks in the ceiling. I can move diagonally uh, when I have space, but I cannot move diagonally around walls. That is an interesting choice. Um, I do, I do wonder about that choice. Not that it's a bad choice, but you descend. Oh, I don't want to descend yet. Also, I love that, uh, how seamless that descent was. We could just use the mouse. I think that using the mouse to move around isn't, isn't terrible. We have another scroll entitled, uh, Flirk Snarg, uh, Portipus. Yes. This parchment is covered with indecipherable writing and bears a title of Flirxnarg Plartipus. Portipus. Who knows what it will do when read aloud? Uh, and this, you know, with this comes your standard risk of, uh, ooh, there's an, another scroll. Can I pick it up? You now have a scroll entitled Puss Puss Puss. Some food floats away in the current. There's a current. Oh no, is, it, is that my stuff floating away? I think it is. I think that's my stuff. So I guess if you uh, if you go into the water, be um, careful not to lose your stuff. Because now my stuff's just in the water. Can I can I grab that back? Hmm. Okay. Well, th we lost the scrolls. Okay. This is a uh, episode one. The Tale of the Lost Scroll. <laughs> um, it's 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 gonna be a lot of, as I say, me bumbling around, not knowing what I'm doing, uh, and that's fine. I I kind of a you know that's that's a part, that's something I enjoy. Oh, it's a kobold uh, about rogue likes is uh, is you know failing, not not knowing everything right away. So this uh, this game was on my shortlist for a while, something I wanted to do. And then what is this? Blood Bloodwort stock. Can I like pick that up? This spindly plant grows seed pods famous for their healing properties. The bloodwort seed pod bursts, releasing a cloud of healing spores. I wish I can I like pick those up because that could be good. No, I can't seem to pick those up. They they just they just burst when they want. And you can see like the the way that like that those spores are kind of like dispersing is uh it's really nice actually. You know, this this game's got quite a bit of visual flair. Okay, we're going to we're going to kill some more foes, try and level up maybe. I feel like that's just about it for this floor. Maybe not. There's quite a, there's, there's a, lot, a little bit more going on. Okay, I don't, I don't know how close we are to leveling up. Stealth range. We, there is stealth in this game. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on. You have a yellow potion. Uh, what is this? You now have two rations of food. I don't know uh, what hunger meters are going to look like in this game. We can look at our stuff. Oh, do we? Oh, we are wearing leather armor. That's good. Yellow potion. You have room for 20 more items. Solid. Okay. So what do we have here? Shield? You now have leather armor. More leather armor. Is it better? Uh, I think it is exactly the same. Although there's a three in here. I'm sure I'm sure someone might tell me what that means, but I don't know what it means yet. So I'm gonna say that this this is it. Um for this floor. Oh I know, there's there's more stuff over here. Never mind. Oh there's a kobold. Also, I'm not sure if, like, uh, enemies respawn in this dungeon. Okay, there's a wooden barricade. Firmly set, but has dried over the years. Might it burn? Oh. Well, if only we had a scroll of pus, pus, pus. Oh, hey, our, our scroll did, like, get to the shallow end, so maybe we can pick it up again. Pus, pus, pus. Oh, we, we <laughs> just happened to get the pus, pus, pus scroll. Okay, let's, let's read it. Um... Call? Throw? Let's call it. Call them. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I want. Uh, it says apply. 
throw. Relabel. This scroll, this is a scroll of enchanting. Okay. Enchant what? Oh, cool. Um, can we enchant our dagger? Your dagger gleams briefly in the darkness. So what is it now? A plus one dagger? Oh, excellent. Nice. Oh, I think our other scrolls finally kind of wandered to the uh, shallow end, so we could we could pick those up as well. And we now know that um, scroll of plus 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 is very good for us. Oh, there's our nutrition bar. Okay, I am learning things. Portagana Flemgird. Uh, there's an explore button we can explore. Pretty sure we've explored most things here. There's another barricade there. Oh, no, that's a stone wall. Never mind. Uh, all right. Oh, there's a jackal. I didn't see the jackal. Um, all right. So, search. I wonder if there's, like, secret... There, there were secret doors in uh, Rogue, and it, it, it kind of tripped me up a little bit. Because I wasn't expecting them, and th there's, like, an added layer of uh, depth that I really didn't expect. So this is a chasm. If I fall into there, it could be could be really bad. And we have we see bog. Okay, I don't think there's anything here of value. I seem to recall you could have like companions in this game. Like uh, I know that like the monkey companion was like a huge deal because they they would just beat things up. Okay, we have a a bloat, a bladder of deadly gas buoys the bloat through the air. It's thin venous membrane ready to rupture at the slightest stress. The bloat deals no direct damage. You have a 100% chance to hit the bloat. Typically hit it for 75% of its current health. You could defeat it in one hit. The bloat dies when it attacks, flies, and moves erratically. Okay, well, I can... You know, it's, it's a boomer, basically. So what kind of uh, gas have we got here? Cloud of caustic gas. You can feel the purple gas eating at your flesh. Okay, well, that's not good. Wow, that, that gas is really... dense, isn't it? Maybe I should not have attacked the bloat. A valuable lesson learned. I'm gonna rest. Is that a bat? Pit bloat. Rare subspecies of bloat is filled with a... Peculiar vapor that, if released, will cause the floor to vanish out from underneath it. Jeez, the pit bloat deals no direct damage. I get it. It's a pit bloat. That's that's funny. Um, like, ah, uh, no. <sighs> You're damaged by the fall. Well, we we killed the pit bloat, and now we are in the on the next floor. Is this another pit bloat? That is, in fact, another pit bloat. Oh my god. All right, so we're now like three layers below where we were. I'm gonna rest until we are full health. I should, I, maybe I should eat some food. Um, eat some food. I don't know why it says apply. You're not hungry enough to fully enjoy the food. Eat it anyway? No, I guess not. Okay. Um, so this is the stairway up. There's another chasm. Oh, we have a rat. Dead. I don't remember leveling up, but we maybe are doing a bit more. Oh, that's right. Our dagger is a plus one now. Forgot about that. What is that? Oak staff. Gnarled oak staff is warm to the touch. Who knows what it will do when used? Uh, so I'm not sure where, like, what, how to see our level or our experience. I'm not sure what our menu here even does. Rest until better. Well, I've, I tried, oh, is it capital Z? Maybe it's capital Z. So if I do shift Z. Maybe that, I think that's it. I'll try that after I kill the kobold here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so shift Z is rest until fully healed. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna fill this room with helpful, healthy gas so that I can heal up there when I when I want to. This epic music is really, really doing it for me. We're on a we're on a serious adventure here. Ooh, gold. What do I need gold for? Are there? I wonder if there are merchants uh, underground. I'm also wondering, can we like improve our stealth? Okay, so this is back where we were before we descended three levels uh, against our consent. Okay, you you now have a sword. So this uh, dagger is an eleven, and then the sword is a fourteen. I think that's what that means. So let's uh, equip that. Sword carries a penalty of negative five because of your inadequate strength. It will reveal its secrets if you defeat 20 enemies with it. Wielding the sword, assuming it has no hidden properties, will decrease your current accuracy by 34% and will increase your current damage by 54%. Sure, let's, uh, let's try the sword. Apparently it has some secrets to reveal. What is this? A dormant gas vent is connected to a reserve of paralytic gas. What is this? Explosive gas. And then over there is more water. So we're, we'll be in trouble if anything lights a match in there. There's some really interesting, um... Oh, is, is this the monkey? Lives to steal shiny trinkets from passing adventurers. Has a 63% chance to hit you, typically hit. 50, you have a 53% chance to hit the monkey, typically hit for 66 of its current health, and at best, could defeat it in two hits. I can't remember if maybe you can, like, charm the monkey. It doesn't seem to be angry with me, but I have attacked it now. Your sword must be a sword of plenty. The monkey bites me. There's no, there's now two monkeys. Okay, well, we'll defeat the monkeys. Is the monkey running away? Did it steal something of mine? Yeah, he stole my yellow potion. Get back here, monkey. Oh no, it's running through the <laughs> explosive gas, monkey. Get back here. What is this? Explosive, more explosive gas. The monkey is really running. Where are you running? Well, at least I didn't steal my weapon. We're, we're not doing so well right now. Okay. Um, I can't remember where that healing room was, but I think we'll be fine here if I rest up. Oh, you see a jackal. Where is the jackal? Oh, I see. Is it going to come? Yeah, it's going to come to get me. Okay, can we... Let's uh, drink a yellow potion. I died. <laughs> it must have been a potion of incineration. Oh, the jackal catches fire. You catch fire. <laughs> well, that sucks. What a good way to uh, start the series by... Um, dying on level two with a jackal by setting myself on fire. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, and I am going to call it there because why not? Uh, you know, it's it's a good way to, to start things out. Um, you can expect more of this. I don't know how much of this I will do or how, how much big this series will be, but I'll, I'll do it for a little while. Who knows? Maybe I'll get really good at this game. Who can say? If you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new to my content, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.